up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel i'm deja Hello. so today is basically going to be like a q a video um just to update you guys a lot of you ask me questions over on my other social media accounts like all the time i've been seeing like repetitive questions so what i did was ask you guys to ask me questions over on instagram so like i always say if you want to be incorporated into these type of videos just make sure you go follow me on instagram at deja Lay. and like i just post like the little bang bang on my story whatever sorry that if you can see like reflection in my glasses of the lights or whatever but like i need to be able to see and I, since i haven't been wearing my glasses my eyes have been getting really bad so let's just jump straight into it why don't we huh first question is what do you want to accomplish before this year is up um, honestly i have already like started working towards my goals as in like just becoming healthier and just like listening to my body um i've been in the gym heavy i haven't worked out hardcore like been in the gym how i've been these last couple of weeks since i was in high school like i used to be an athlete so you know your girl <laughs> But I haven't worked out this hard since I was in high school, so very different for me. Um, but I'm already seeing results. The body yaddy is body yaddy in, and I'm just really excited. <laughs> Top three biggest pet peeves. One, my biggest pet peeve of all time is when a man does not know how to keep their word. When they say they're gonna do something, they're gonna do it when they said they're about this or about this. Like that's my biggest pet peeve, when a man just doesn't keep his word. That's one. Two is when people use too many paper towels. That irritates my soul. Like, I really feel like you only need one, you know? I'm doing this with my hands. <laughs> like, when people use too many paper towels to clean up something so small, like, if you don't rip off two paper towels, paper towels is expensive, and I be buying the bounty, so I don't know about that. What's my third pet peeve? Um, just like germs and stuff. Like, when people are like, no, 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 okay, okay. When people wear the shoes in their house, that irks my soul. Like, that's not nasty to y'all. I don't know if it's like the Asian of me, but that's not nasty to y'all. Like that's really all I want to know. So yeah, I'll say those are my three. Uh, just uh, what I can think off, off the top of my mind, you know. Somebody asked, have you used a rose before? Honestly, no. And will I ever? Probably not. I seen like an article about like it can cause like nerve damage or something. And that kind of spooked me. So no thank you. But those of you girlies who do, leave a rose in the comment below. <laughs> And so what's one crazy thing that happened in your last vlog? Okay, so I asked this question well after I had posted the vlog of me going to homecoming in Nashville So I would say crazy thing that happened in that vlog, which was really really funny Hey, okay, quick little mini story time. I'm gonna try to make it all quick and fast. We went out there We got a hotel room with me Jojo and Fig. That's it. That's all right Me and Jojo had left one night like Fig wanted to stay out. We're like cool We just gonna go back to the room go to sleep. Da -da -da, we're tired. We go back to the room We're all laying down getting comfortable cozy, you know about to go to sleep and this man just walks in the door <laughs> like we don't know who this man is we ain't never seen him he did have a key turns out he is a fixed friend blah, blah 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 but it's just a fact like bro we don't know who you are so it was just really weird really really crazy kind of shook me because he really just walked in and walked straight to the bed and i'm like hold on who are you like are you in the right room are you gonna kill us like who are you so that was really crazy says how has Layden changed you as a woman what are you excited to see from him as he grows up that's a really good question how has Layden changed me as a woman i say this all the time but like my baby brings me so much peace and i'm looking over at him because he's right here he's supposed to be taking an nap my baby brings me so much peace like my soul like i don't know like when i don't have him like when he's with his dad it just i feel like I'm missing something that's why I try to like you know be out be with my friends da, da, da. but it's just like I really feel like I'm missing something and when I'm with him I just feel complete and very much so at peace Layden was sent to me for a reason so how has he changed me as a woman he had changed me completely Layden saved my life where I was um, before I got pregnant with him I was just in a very very dark place in my life mentally emotionally like it was really really bad um Layden saved my life like without him i wouldn't be here today sorry to get all sad and all that, but i'm just being honest so what are you excited to see from him as he grows up i'm just excited to see how his like little personality keeps evolving like it's crazy because when he was little he literally used to act the same but now he can express you know like words and stuff so it's just very funny to see, like he still acts the exact same as he did as a baby. So I just wanna see what that personality is gonna be like when he gets older and how our relationship is gonna be, cause that's gonna be my dog. Like it's, he already my dog, that's my little twin, twin, twin. We gonna be like this. And I'm just excited to when he gets like 16 in sports and he's like, oh mom, can my friends come over? I'm like, yeah bro, tell the dogs to pull up, you know? <laughs> so I'm just really excited. Somebody said, hell, I just wanna FaceTime you. <laughs> 
no why they keep fumbling you by the way i've been watching you for so long oh my god des hello i don't know you tell me because i'm just here like bro i'm great <laughs> personality is amazing everybody wants to be me <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm really great. That was a Leo in me talking. That was very, very, very conceited. It just rah, you know? If YouTube didn't exist, what would you be doing? Honestly, I've always, always, always wanted to be an orthodontist and like not to like excite anyone or like, <laughs> but um, I've been thinking about this for some, like a few months now. Um, I actually like took steps to start it. I just like doubled back and was like, yeah. Um, but I think I'm gonna go back to school because I really wanna be an orthodontist and like I want to do something that's like very much so hands on. I've been in the house too long doing this for a long time. So I kinda wanna like do something hands on and why not do something that I've always wanted to do. You guys, I've been wanting to be an orthodontist since I was little. Favorite liquor, my favorite liquor is tequila. I love it, any kind, give me it. Tequila, 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 so yeah. Tequila. Actually, actually, everything. Actually, where is everyone from, you know? Ooh, somebody asked me a question that said, preparing for a D appointment advice, do's and don'ts. And you know what? I think I might make that a, um, like a whole separate video. If y'all want that, we can do like chit chat girl time. I can pull out the wine and all this and all that. And that's a good topic for a video. So I think I might do that. Let me screenshot it. These planes are crazy, y'all. And I really do apologize, but I live like near LAX. But yeah, and you know what's crazy? Though, I also have a really funny story time about one time when I was out on one of my appointments. <laughs> I almost died! <laughs> so if y'all want to hear that story, let me know too. What's a major thing you feel like you have learned about life and understanding why? So you know what's crazy? I was really just sitting here talking to my friend. Who was I talking to about this? Okay, I don't know. But I was talking to somebody about this. And I was just saying like, I really at this grown age of mine have really came to terms and like acknowledged the fact that everyone is not me like I, I need to stop expecting myself out of others because i would never get that into return like some things that people do i'd be like i would never do that and it's because i wouldn't that's just my character just me you know so i gotta stop expecting me out of somebody so that's something major that i've learned this year and i'm gonna take on and carry on in my life so then maybe i could be a, you know a little more in my feminine energy and not so like because i really what is the biggest misunderstood thing about you? I would have to say, um, just my strength. Like people always tell me like, oh my God, you've been through so much. Oh my God, you're so strong. Oh my God, I can never, da, da, da. And like, everybody just thinks I'm this strong guys, hard ass, because that's how I come off. But like, it's like, I be crying. Like, I'm human. Like, yeah, I might not show it in that moment because I have taught myself and learned to like, poker face but like when I go at home at night I be crying and that's because I'm a Leo one we're very 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 sensitive like we might come off hard and strength and da -da -da -da, but like we're sensitive as hell so don't ever let no Leo tell you they're not sensitive we thugs that cry how has single life been um I don't like it <laughs> I don't like it I just am at this point in my life and I just feel like my third eye is just so open to a lot of bullshit and like people's spirits and energy. I just don't want to be around. Like it makes me physically sick to be around certain people. So I'm like, mm. I would rather be at home with my husband and my kids and our animals. Never mind on animals, maybe a puppy. That's what I want to do. I would rather spend my time and energy with another person's time and energy that I love, you know? So yeah, that's that on that. I don't like being single. I'm very much so not even like, dealing with nobody to be honest i'm just really taking this time in my life to like prioritize myself and you know do what i like to do grow i've set goals for myself that i'm trying to reach and i'm just not really worried about nobody at this time it says what's coming to your youtube i need more vlogs and maybe twerk lessons <laughs> girl i can't dance for real <laughs> that's what's funny that's what's funny and you know a lot of people be saying i'm not thick but your girl thick because when i do this it move and it jiggle. Okay, uh, I really can't dance. I do the same little side to side, I want to, want to, and then I two step, which is, you know, I'm from LA, so you know, that's what that's what we do to everything. I ain't got nothing in me. Do you ever think about wanting to get your family back together? If so, will it be anytime soon? Um, as in family, you mean my son's dad. I'm not really gonna speak too much on that because he is right next to me. But, um, unfortunately, you guys, that will never happen ever again. Like I said, in that relationship, it had taught me a lot about myself. I had to really 
go within, find the strength. That's someone that I will love from a distance. Great father for my child. So yeah, on that end, I will never discredit him on that one, but like relationship, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> How do you pronounce your name and Layden's full name? A lot of people always ask me this. If those of you who don't know, now you know. I am Hawaiian, black, and Chinese. My baby is Hawaiian, black, and Chinese. My name is Deja Lamagie Kaule Aloha Ponaole. And my last name, and then Layden's name is Layden JC Ha'aiono Uikalei Lima, and then his last name. That's how that is. And he does have mine and his dad's last name. You want to say it? Good job, high five. Do you want another baby? You know what's so crazy? I always said I really didn't. Um, and I also said that I would have one more, possibly two, when I get married and find my husband. Um, but lately, I really been wanting one. <laughs> And I just think it's because Layden is just so independent and he just too grown. He telling me he frustrated and now the dog is so annoying. Like his vocabulary surprises me every day. And I'm just like, I wish when you were so little and needed mommy and all this and all that. That's the advice for a single mother who's trying to get back into dating. Honestly, just do it. You know, go on dates, blah, blah, blah. But if you feel like you can't see that person being father material, don't even take them serious. Like, that's what I take into consideration every time, like, like a new person wants to be in my life or talk to me. Like, I have to really look at you and be like, are you for funsies or... Are you dad, you know? That's just one advice for me. Don't really waste your time because if you can't see that person being like father, then what's the point? And also if your child's father is like, you know, in their life and y'all are co-parenting and da 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 he gonna be upset. He gonna be upset. But don't even worry about him. Don't let nothing he talk about get into your head. Is how do you deal with friends that say jealous things in a joking, playful way? First of all, they're not your friends. And second of all, that's called them being petty. And third of all, me personally, I can be petty too because my mouth real quick and the comebacks be coming back and I will hurt your feelings. But you, on the other hand, maybe just not be their friend. Or if, you, if you're petty and they being petty, be petty too. Other than that, I will fight you, so don't, I don't know. <laughs> what was your reaction when you found out Naya was pregnant? For those of you who don't know, I do have another niece. Uh, another thing, you guys, everybody keep asking me, how does it feel to be an aunt? Y'all, I've been an aunt since I was 11 years old, okay? I have now, this makes 11 nieces and nephews? I'm not new to this, I'm true to this. And how did I feel when I found out? I was very much so shocked. Like, I was um, in disbelief. Um, I went into mom mode really, really quick. It was very weird. Now that I think about it, the best way I can describe it is I treated her like she was my 16 year old daughter. In that moment, I don't even know, but that's just the best way I can describe it. And, um, you know, I sat her down, I talked to her about life and what you're gonna have to deal with and what's about to come. And that's just that on that. So yeah, another thing for those of you who don't know, she did have her baby, such a beautiful big girl. But will she be showing her? I got that question too. I just seen that. I'm not absolutely sure, but I know as of right now, no. So stop asking because she's not going to show her baby. Where is your dream destination to travel? For those of you who know me, comment down below right now. But if you don't know, it is Thailand. I want to go to Thailand so freaking Bad. It says, what if how you feel about your mom will be eventually how Layden feels about you? I will never allow that to happen. And that's the one reason why. It said, where did you get your lashes that you've been wearing recently? I need a specific link of package. Um, okay. Here's a little insider secret. Maybe I shouldn't tell y'all yet. I ain't even gonna tell y'all yet because y'all not gonna have them holes sold out. And it comes with a pack of like seven. <laughs> and they cheap. So I'm not even gonna tell, I'm about to go add three to my cart and then I'm gonna let you know, okay? I'm gonna DM you specifically. <laughs> this question's so petty. It say, who your favorite ex? Y'all. <laughs> so crazy. And for you to even have a favorite ex, you are very toxic. Y'all are very, very toxic people. Do I have one myself? <laughs> The world may never know. Do you think husband and wife comes before child? Do I think husband and wife comes before child? I know in the Bible it's supposed to be that way. Certain situations may be, I don't know, that's a hard question to ask because if you go ask me if anybody comes before my kid, no. But also I'm not with my child's father so that's very difficult to answer. Okay, so me and my husband have a kid. Does my does that kid come before my husband? As in what ways? Like, if they was both on a boat, my husband was drowning, my kid was drowning, who am I saying my kid? That sounds so crazy. I just feel like nobody should come before anyone. Everyone is equal, right? I just feel like it's gonna be a lot more work between me and my husband, as in the love 
factor because every day we have to choose each other because you know our kid we gonna have to take care of our kid and love is unconditional for your child so that's there automatically but with this person you have to choose them every single day where was i going with that i really don't know but um that's hard to who oh uh, ain't nobody come before later that's all i gotta say the last question there's so many oh <laughs> that's crazy why do you want to know that weird <laughs> somebody asked what's your favorite memory with your sisters dang this is so hard um those of you who don't know i have three two older sisters and naya which is my younger sister with naya it's kind of different We've only known each other now for like nine years damn wow <laughs> Yeah, for like nine years, so <clears throat> my favorite memory with her. Okay, my favorite memory with Nia will have to be when um, we first met and she first had came and met our dad and we were like joking. I used to love prank my dad, right? So we hid inside of our like downstairs closet and he had got home from the store or something work i don't know he was getting home from somewhere and me and i had scared the living sh i'm surprised he didn't shoot us <laughs> like like it was correct it was so funny but yeah that's probably my favorite memory with nine and then my favorite memory with my other sisters i've lived this whole life and you know like i got really bad memory i think it's like just a, like a trauma i don't know but i really can't say a favorite it's been so many times like me and my two older sisters when we get together we be lit like <laughs> it's just fun times we are so funny like we are so funny and like all three of us together oh my god you can never take us serious i don't there's been so many memories i cannot choose just one okay i'm, I'm lying <laughs> this is probably not my favorite memory but it's kind of harsh too our great grandmother had died and we were at her funeral and like between all of us do not look at us in a serious moment because you will go to hell right along with us okay because we cannot take nothing serious bro we have to joke about everything and i really think that comes down to trauma but like we can't take anything serious so at her funeral the person who was giving like speeches who, who what would we call him the pastor <laughs> I don't know, the past demands after every word he said, he said hallelujah, okay? It was like, today hallelujah is a great day, hallelujah. The sun, hallelujah, is out, hallelujah. That shit was so funny. That shit was so funny. Like, to the point, we were back there trying our hardest not to laugh. Because as soon as he started, we all looked at each other. You know when you're not supposed to be saying nothing? Or when you have to be quiet and you don't need to laugh? Don't look at your siblings, bro. That's the funniest thing in the world. So we looked at each other. As soon as eye contact, we are rolling. To the point, like, you know how they have, like, immediate family sit, like, the two rows in the front or whatever? To the point, like, my granny is looking back at us, which is it's her mom funeral. Looking at us, like, if they give you that that mom my mama turned around looking at us like y'all have to be kidding everybody's looking at us to the point we had to get up and go outside because that shit was so funny bro yeah um and then the last question i i keep getting i don't know how is are you single definitely <laughs> i think that's gonna wrap up today's video the travelers are traveling and these airplanes are starting to piss me off. I hope I've answered um, majority of the questions you guys were looking for answers to. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you made it this far and you're not yet subscribed, what? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. They are down below. And on that note, I love you guys. Bye.